Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to the Let's Build Furniture series, oh yeah. And what this is all going to be about is, I think every episode I'm going to pick three uh, furnishing ideas, because I've had a lot of questions asking me, you know, how do I build couches, or how do I build tables, or how do I make my bathroom look a bit more exciting. And um, what I think is, like I said, I'll pick three, three items, and um, I'll teach you how to build them. So... Without further ado, we'll get on to it. Right, first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this table and chairs, and this cool little fan. Uh, this fan works with string, so bear that in mind, you need the gap here to be able to put the string. Otherwise it won't work, but other than that, you can put whatever you want in the middle, and now we're in 1.8, we can put buttons upside down. So that's lovely, but this table can extend as big as you want it, you can put another row in the middle. And uh, these chairs are kinda cool. I think I saw this on, um, was it a Kralis video, maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, what you're going to need, you're going to need some dark oak wood stairs for the table. And you need a dark oak wood plank. You need some, a fence. Can I get that? No, that's just going to give me dark. Anyway, you need dark oak wood planks. You also need a sign, and I'm going to have to grab one from here. And you need an item frame like that. Some pressure plates, and you should be done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a log down like that, just so I can... Four. I think it was four. One, two, three, four. No, it's going to be five. Like a so. Get rid of that. And this gives you the little table design. Take your slabs down like that, and here as well. Very nice, very nice. Right. Now you want to stand on the slab. Oh, that's what we need. We need a door. You want to stand on the slab and place the doors. This way. Because you like backs of chairs. The only problem with this is you can't put anything behind it because there is no block there. But you should be okay. So you'd have to build this. You know, you'd have to have your wall here. Which I think is fine. Uh, we're going to put these down last. So what we want to do is you want to take your item frame. Place it on... You want to shift and place it on the doors, like this. Then you want to take your dark oak wood, shift, place it in the item frame, and then turn it sideways. Like that. Like, like. Like, like. Oh. Why? There we go. Just like that. And then you want to take your sign, and then you're going to shift and click on the door, and that'll place the sign. Like that. And all this is doing is just, it's giving like a little cushion idea there. And it's just stopping you seeing through the door, see? Just makes it look less like a door from the front. And then you just take your things down like that. You can put a little plant pot on the table. Take some fence. Oh, that's what we haven't done. Take your item frames, paste them on the sides like this. I'll jump over here, do this side as well. One there, and one there. And do it back the other way. Doink, doink. There, there, and there. Then take your fence and place your fence in the signs. Like this. Hop over, place on the other side as well. There we go. And there we go. You got to add a little plant pot on the table if you wanted. Can I get the plant pot? I want the plant pot. Uh, let's get it from... Where's it going? There it is. Put a plant pot on the table. Put whatever you want on the table. There we go. And there's your little table. It's nice. It's not... You could put another... You know, you could put these here if you wanted to. Item frame and item frame. Come on. Or maybe fence... Uh, things there would look nice. Just to kind of round the table off. Maybe that'll look nice like this. Just rounds the table off. Adds a little side to it. And there we go. And for this fan, what you want to do is you want to take some string. Like that. You want to take the carpet, whatever color carpet you want. For this, we're just going to use white. to Take a button. And we'll take right, some lamp. Again, this could be whatever you want. And you want to build it up. One, two, three, four. 
if you've made this table one wider, you could probably put this in the center, but I haven't. So when you want to place one underneath, so you can place the string. I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then take your carpet and place your carpet on top of the string. Like that. Get underneath. Delete. Oh, did I delete the string? Yes, I did. Let's put that carpet back. There we go. Get underneath. Break that. Put a button in. Got a cool little... Uh, little what's it called? You could put... What you could do, in fact, is if you take away this and you put a block or whatever you wanted there, it would stick it down one more, like that. And then... Can you place the button there? No, you can't. But again, experiment, guys. This is just me showing you, you know, the basics. And that's... And that's that. And there's your table. I think it's quite nice. It's it's nicely detailed, but it isn't too big. You know, it's... You know, including this block at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six wide. Which I think is great. You know, for, for you know, for Minecraft. I think that's as small as you're going to get this. So, second one is this sofa. Again, you can make it out with, make it out of whatever you want. We're going to use dark awkward stairs, dark awkward slabs, a bed, and some red stained clay. And we're just going to go here. We're going to place a bed down. Oop, a bed down that way. Jump on it. Place a bed down that way. Fill the back up with some clay or wool, whatever you want to use. Place these like this. Oh, good God! And then take take some slabs. There we go. And what you could do is get some carpet. Wherever your carpet is, it's here. Take some red carpet. Like this, and we could lay them down. Maybe like this. Not up there. And I'll just give the arms a little a little thing. And there's that done. And then last but not least, the little shower room. We got a little toilet here. With the flush, and the seat, and a little bathtub, and I'll show you how to make them, but I'm pretty sure you can see how they're made. The toilet is made with a, an anvil like that, upside down slab, upside down slab, upside down stairs, block, trap door, tripwire hook. There we go. And then the shower. The shower here has got your little shower curtain here. I've taken some item frames and put a portion in there as like, you know, like a soap bottle. And then you've got a, a brick up there, which kind of looks like a soap. I've put a tripwire hook up there, you know, to kind of look like a um, a shower head. Alternatively, you could go rid of this. We put that there. If you flip it down and then put like that, it wouldn't work here. But that kind of looks like a shower head as well. Um, glass here is your shower curtain. Let me just change the time. There we go. And the bathtub is literally just quartz stairs placed. Two like that. And one, two, three, four, five. Turn it. One, two, three, four. And there's your bathtub. Maybe that's a little long. Maybe just go four. Like that. There we go. So it's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then you just take your glass. And, you know, you place it along the edge. Of course, it'll join to a wall. If you've got a wall there. But that that's kind of it. I think that's all we got time for this episode. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try and deal with anything else. Like, I know, I think next episode we'll have a look at kitchens. And we'll have a look at we'll work on some worktops. And such like that. By using powered rails as, like, um, tops of ovens. And, you know, building some cool looking microwaves or something. Just to detail up your kitchens, this is what this series series is about, it's about detailing up your stuff. I tell you what I'll do is, I'll switch over to resource packs. Let's go, let's use Sfax. I kind of like using Sfax because it's, um, it's a little bit more cartoony. And it's just an all-around really nice texture pack, and I think it works really well. In showing what I'm trying to put across. Because it doesn't change any blocks as such, it just keeps, you know, wood still looks like wood. It just makes them look a little prettier. And we all know everyone likes to use texture packs every now and again. I know a lot of people like to use texture packs all the time. And I used to be one of those people. And I still do when I play in creative and stuff. I still do. 
So here we go. Let's go back over and have a look. Look how good this table looks and that fan looks in this. You can see the um, the string a little more. There is a trick with water and a lily pad that I might show you in a, a an, uh, an upcoming episode. You put a bit of water or lily pad down and then you put the... Uh, I think... Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if I can show you now. Take a water bucket because I can't really remember myself. You take one of these. And you want to take, let's try snow, and we'll try some carpet, because I can't remember. So what you do is, you go like this, you put your water bucket in, and your lily pad, then I think you place your carpet on top. You place your carpet on top, but when you delete these, ah, oh. let's try that again, put the lily pad down, put the carpet on top, if I then put a block in, no. No, I can't remember. I'll have a look. There is a way of doing it. But see how, look, how nice this looks in the texture pack. This couch, you'd have to change it. Maybe put... You know, you take your blue. Let's look for blue. Blue really don't look that good. I think light blue would look better. Two, three, four. Put your light blue down. Seeing the way it all fits together. And this looks just as good. Maybe I wouldn't use lapis for this, I'd use, you know, blue like that. But, I quite like using this kind of pattern as well. I use this a lot in kitchens on the floor. It kind of, you know, it says, this is a bathroom. And when it's on the floor with the black instead of the blue, it says, this is a kitchen. But, um, yeah, so, you know, thanks for very much for watching. Let me see, let, you know, if there's anything you want, stick it in the, in the uh, comments. And I will try and build it as best as I can. Next episode, we're going to look at kitchens. And what else can we what else can we have a look at? I don't know, I'll see what what do you guys want? Let me know in the comments, write what you want me to build, and I'll try and get some stuff for you. And I shall see you next episode. See you guys.